It rained all night the day I left the weather it was dry the sun's so hot I froze to death Susanna don't you cry Oh Susanna oh don't you cry for me Cause I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee Oh well hi there I see you've come to get an idea about how to make a puppet stage. Well, now you've come to the right place. You see, I done gathered some of the stuff you might use to make your very own spiffy puppet stage. And I can pert near promise you that this is going to be all kinds of fun. Now, here's some of the stuff you might want to gather before we start. We've got some double-sided tape, some fishing line or some string, some paint, some different kinds of tape, duct tape, packing tape, all kinds of tape, some paint, some paint brushes. Oh, be careful with this. This is a cardboard cutter. You can get a pencil, a ruler, some scissors. If you want, you can get a rotary, whatever this thing is. I think it's called a rotary cutter. Some paper, and a piece of material. Now it can be an old pillar case or anything you have laying around. Don't worry about being fancy. I don't. All right. Feel free to just push that pause button and get what you need. All righty then. Let's get started. My good friend, Miss Tracy, works at the Nampa Public Library and she's gonna give y'all some ideas on how to make this here puppet stage. She'll show you in just a moment. All right, here we go. Hello, Hand Puppet Hank. Thank you so much for getting everything ready. I really appreciate it. My name is Miss Tracy, and I'm glad that you're here today so that I can show you one way that you can make your own puppet stage. I made this one, and the thing I really like about it is that you can open the curtains and close them. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's move this out of the way for a minute. The first thing that you need is a cardboard box. And it does not have to be this big. It can be a smaller one, and you can put your puppet stage on a table. But I found this one, and you'll just choose First of all, you want to find the front part of your stage. And I liked this part the best. It looked a little bit better. And then what you will do is you'll cut off the back part of the box. This will be the back part of your stage. And I've already cut this part off. And I used this cardboard cutter right here. Now, make sure that your parents do this part because this is very sharp. And when you're cutting, Cut away from yourself. So, so I already cut off the back. The next thing you want to do is grab some packing tape and I'm going to take these top flaps here and I'm going to tape the corners together. So let's start with this corner. Grab some scissors and we'll put a piece of tape here. Tape's kind of tricky sometimes. <laughs> All right, there's that corner. And then if you can find the end of the tape, that I should have told you, be careful. When you use packing tape, you don't want to lose the end of it. You might never find it again. <laughs> okay, all right, here it is. Let's get another piece. And this time when I cut it, I'm going to make sure I don't lose the end of it, hopefully. Okay. So let's tape the other corner. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just keeps it sturdy. Okay, and then I also 
like to tape the inside of the corners as well, just to offer a little more reinforcement. I'm taping the inside of the corners just to make it a little more sturdy. There we go. And oh, guess what? I lost the end of the tape again. We'll find it. All right, and then I'm just gonna tape the other inside of the corner. Oh, there we go. And there's the tape. I'm gonna like crease it a little bit so I don't lose the end. All right, there we go. So the corners are taped. And then what I'm gonna do is, can you see the bottom of this? I'm going to tape the bottom flaps together so that it stays upright and it's secure. And I like to use duct tape for this, but you can use packing tape still. So we'll grab some duct tape and we're just gonna put a piece right here on these flaps and another piece on the other side. All right, there we go. So here's the back of your stage. And the next part I'm going to show you is how to make an arch at the top of the stage. This is gonna be the top of your stage. And we're gonna kind of make it just a little bit fancy. And I'm gonna draw an arch to go across the top to kind of give it a little bit of a, an arch shape. All right, so there is the shape there and it doesn't have to be perfect again. I am going to cut that shape out. Oh, and I'm gonna cut away. There we go, we're cutting away. So we're just gonna make it and just slope it down a little bit so it has some shape to it. And then we said it doesn't have to be perfect, right? So here's my left-handed cutting, which might be kind of scary. And we'll make another art shape here. Okay, that's not too bad. And make sure an adult does this part as well. So after we do that, we just want to cut a little bit off the side here so that the art shape kind of continues. So I'm going to go this way. Just cut off part of this flap here. And then the tape will need to be cut as well. Okay, so it kind of looks like this on the corner. You have your arch. If you need to tape it again, you can, but it should probably be okay. And then we'll do the other side. Oh, the tape's already <laughs> coming off. All right, here we go. We're gonna just cut half of this flap off. Okay, so there you go. This is what it looks like after you cut the arch. I hope that looks pretty good. What do you think? Yay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll retape these just a little bit and I'll be right back and show you the next step. Are ready for a really exciting part. We're going to cut out the window. And here we have the back of our puppet stage. So, oh, I need a ruler. Does anyone have it? Oh, thank you. All right, so we're going to measure about three inches from the top of the box here where it meets the flap. So it doesn't have to be, you know, exactly three inches. And then we're gonna go about three inches from the sides as well. So we've got three inches there and about three inches here. And I'm gonna make another mark here. Okay, so then I'm gonna make a line across the top to kind of guide me before I cut it. There we go. You just wanna go all the way over to the mark here you have here, to the three inch mark. And then we're gonna go down probably about the length of the ruler, about 12 inches. And you can make your window as big as you want. So this is just kind of a one idea. I just wanted to kind of draw the window before I cut it because then it will at least be a little bit straight. And then we'll go across the bottom again. 
There we go. All right. So there, we've drawn the window, and now I'm going to get ready to cut out the window. But I need my knife. Where did I? Oh, thank you. Here it is. Now remember, let your parents do this part, because it's a sharp. OK, so I'm going to make sure nothing is in the way when I cut this out. I might want to hold it right here, hold it steady. And then you'll just cut the window out. And try to stay on the lines you made, but if not, it's not the end of the world. OK, and then we're going to go down this side and this side. Maybe I should go just a little slower. Oh. <laughs> and then we'll cut out the bottom. We're almost there. Okay. I think we did it. Let's see. Oh. Almost. There. Now you have your window. Yay! <laughs> All right, so here is the front of our puppet stage again with the window, and now we get to do something super fun. We're going to paint it, and you can paint it any color you want. Oh, paint. Let's see, I need some paint. Oh, awesome! I'm going to paint the front of my stage purple. Okay, so here's my purple paint, and I've got a styrofoam bowl here. I'm going to squirt some paint in the bowl and start painting. And it might take a little while just to paint the whole front of the stage. You can also paint the sides if you would like. Today I'm not going to paint the sides of my stage, but you can if you would like to. So this is really fun. Just start painting. Yay. All right, I'm almost finished painting. If you want to, you can let this paint dry and then you can paint it again if you want it to look darker. But I think we'll go ahead and let this paint dry. You can still see, kind of see the words through the box. So you can paint that part again or you could cover it with paper with some decorations and I'll show you how to do that later. So we're going to let the box dry for a while because we don't want to do anything else to it while it's wet or you might get paint on your curtains and other things. All right. So we're going to make the curtains. So grab a piece of material or an old pillowcase or an old sheet and a ruler or a cutting board. And I measured my curtains about 20 inches wide and 36 inches long. So just approximately, you don't have to have it exactly. All right, so I'm gonna go over 20 inches and cut. All right, and I'm going to use this, but you can use scissors. This is a rotary cutter. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Okay, so I'm just going to cut right here. And then this board is about 36 inches long, so I will just cut it off the bottom here. Here we go. Yep. Okay. And as you can tell, it's not perfectly straight, but it'll be awesome. And have a little bit of black paint on it, which is fine. Okay. <laughs> That's from the last time I made a stage. All right. So we're going to cut off one more piece of fabric about the same size, 20 inches by 36 or whatever you decide. All right. So there we have both sides of our curtain. And next I'm going to show you how to hang them up. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is hang our curtains up. This is so exciting. So, see the back of your stage. Oh, 
Oh, I need some scissors and either some fishing line or some string. Let's, oh, awesome, thank you. Very cool, and I'll need some packing tape too. Do you have some packing tape? Super, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna use the scissors and we're gonna make a little hole. Let me see if you can see this. We're gonna make a little hole probably about two inches down the side, close to the front. So this might be kind of tricky. There we go. Now I'm gonna make another hole on the other side in about the same place. Can you guys see that? And hopefully the paint's dry enough we don't get paint all over ourselves. There, okay. Then we're going to take a piece of the fishing line and some packing tape. Uh-oh, guess what I forgot to do? The end of my tape is missing. All right, I found the end of the packing tape. So I'm gonna take my fishing line. I'm not gonna cut it yet. And I'm going to poke it through one side of the stage. There we go. So there it is. And then I'm going to grab it from the other side and bring it around like this. And I'm gonna put a piece of tape so that it stays there. I wanna make sure that this tape is really secure so that this fishing line stays in place. All right. Okay, see, so your fishing line is taped to the edge of the box here. Make sure that stays. All right, and then we're gonna take the fishing line across to the other hole, and I'm gonna estimate, you know what, it's better to have a little extra. I'm gonna cut it off here. I'm gonna poke it through this hole and do the same thing on this side with the tape. And it's a little bit longer, but that's okay. And I think I saved the end of the tape. All right, so then you take your fishing line and you make sure it's really kind of tight and then put the tape over the fishing line here. Okay, bang, bang, bang. That's where you're gonna hang your curtain. All right. Okay, we're almost finished. Here are the curtains and oh, oh, do you have any double stick tape? Yay! Okay, you take your double stick tape, and instead of sewing the curtains, this is what you're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna get my double stick tape, and I'm going to put it across the top part of this material, like this. Here's my double stick tape, okay. There's the double stick tape. You take it this side, make sure the double stick tape is facing you. And I'm gonna go over the fishing line. Here's the fishing line. And I'm gonna pretend I'm sewing the curtains, but I'm not. I'm going to tape them together like this. So my double stick tape is there and I'm just gonna press it onto the other side of the material. And there is one side of my curtains. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing with the other side. All right, and there we have both sides of our curtain. Now, one thing, if you want to hold your curtains open, oh, does anyone have a black clip anywhere? Some sort of a clip? Oh, here's one, <laughs> okay, good thing. All right, so if you wanna hold your curtains open, you can just take a clip or a paper clip or anything like that and just go like this. Just clip it to the top of the curtains. And then you can have one for this side too. But I like it because you can open the curtains and close the curtains. Isn't that awesome? Open, close. All right, we're almost finished. We're on our last step. Okay, for your last step, we're going to decorate the front of the stage. And I'm just gonna put on a few decorations, but you can decorate it any way you want. You can make a sign, you can make a smiley face, hearts, shapes, and just stick them on here. So, oh, 
I probably need a pencil. Hmm. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to make a few stars different sizes and I think I'll make a few more. I like to have different sizes. It makes it a little more interesting. So for this stage, I'm just going to use stars, but you could also paint a welcome sign on a different color of paper and put it right here. You could do anything you want. So after you draw whatever pictures you want or whatever shapes, then use safety scissors or have your parents help you cut out your shapes. After you finish drawing your shapes and cutting them out, put the tape on the side with the pencil marks so you can't see the pencil marks. Oh, I only have, I thought I had five stars. Where are they? Oh, wow, here they are. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna take some double stick tape real quick and put it on the back of these stars. I hope that the shapes that you made are super cool. You could make circles or squares or smiley faces. How about flowers? That would be so awesome. Maybe the sun or the moon, anything you want. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stick them around in different places on my stage. You can put them wherever you want. They can be at the top, they can be at the bottom. There, I'll put three up here and two down here. But you can make stripes if you want or animals. I hope that you guys do whatever you want to decorate your stage and make it super fun. Wow, wait, would you look at that? I hope you guys had fun making your puppet stage. Now, go put on a puppet show. Bye now. Oh, sure, oh, don't you cry for me, because I come from Alabama with a banjo on my knee.